All right, so the match is finished nil nil, Burnley versus Brighton. And what can we take away from that game today as a Burnley fan? And honestly, it's not a lot. It was absolutely dreadful that game. Absolutely shocking again. And let me, I've got a few stats here written down for you. I've written a few stats down here for you. So before we get into the video, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be massively appreciated if you could do so. But let's go through a few stats here that I've written down from the game. So fair play to Brighton. They were absolutely all over us all game, which shows by the possession stats here, which is 60% to Brighton and 40% to Burnley. I'm not being funny, but we're playing Brighton. We're not playing Manchester United. 40% possession is not good enough against a team like Brighton. Brighton are a good team. They do play with possession, to be fair to them. We're used to playing with not as much possession as the opposition. But 40% against Brighton is nowhere near good enough. Well, now let's have a look at the shots, shall we? So we've got 19 shots for Brighton and 4 for Burnley. 4 shots for Burnley. It's absolutely shocking. And zero of them were classed as big chances, whereas Brighton had two, I think. So it just goes to show that we're nowhere near good enough up front. Defensively, Ben Mee was incredible today. He came back into the team and he was very, very, very good today, Ben Mee, to be fair to him. I thought their back three were pretty decent. And then they obviously went to a back four for the last 10 minutes or so, where they brought on Yahambash, I think it was, who Veltman went off. But yeah, it looked like Ben Mee got injured, but he didn't, thank God, for that. So he hopefully can play the next match. Uh, Tarkowski, I don't really think he did anything in that game, to be honest with you, Tarkowski. Pope made some great saves today, to be fair. I've said that he should probably be out of the goal for what he's done this season. Because he's been pretty poor this season, let's be honest, let's be honest. But, yeah, he made a few good saves today, to be fair to him. A few good saves. Uh, Loughton, he was alright, to be fair to him. You know, he had a good game against... Who did he play last week? Spurs. He had a good game against Spurs, probably the best player on the field. But, yeah, he did another decent game today, to be fair to him. So, he's been pretty decent while Barsley is injured right now. So going into this match, we had Dale Stevenson and Phil Barsley injured, which Phil Barsley is a big loss because he's a very, very good fullback still at 35. But Dale Stevens is definitely not a miss for us. He's nowhere near good enough to play in the Premier League. Uh, in midfield, we had Dwight McNeil, and he was absolutely awful today. I'm sorry, but I love Dwight McNeil, but he was absolutely dreadful today. He just picked up the ball, went back. If he did go and try to bring it forward, he lost the ball. He's surrounded by three or four players, and in games like Brighton, they're going to put three or four players around Dwight McNeil. So you're going to have to look for someone else to you know, drive the team forward, because Dwight McNeil's not going to be able to do it, but is he? Because he's going to have three or four players around him. So for me, that was poor planning there. Maybe should have... I don't know what he could have done, to be honest. We had a few options on the bench. Uh, midfield, Westwood, he was poor again. I think he's been our worst player this season for me. He's been dreadful, absolutely dreadful all season. So for me, yeah, Westwood is not good enough anymore. He signed a new three-year deal and he's still being crap. So I'd drop him for the next game. The only reason you can't really drop Westwood is because there's no one else that's really going to take his place, is there, let's be honest. Who's going to come into the centre mid? There's no one that can play centre mid in that team. So right mid, we have Brady. I thought he had quite a good game today, Brady. Um, he's not played for quite a while again, like Gummerson has. He's coming for Gummerson, who was injured, but he was on the bench today. So maybe he could have came on. Because the only problem with Brady is when he's on the ball going forward, he's not great. But when he's defending, he's pretty solid. He's made a few good tackles today. Up front, would have Barnes is complete. I don't want to see them in the next game. Genuinely, I don't want to see them in the next game against Crystal Palace. Uh, it's a must-win game, Crystal Palace. You have to win that one. We had to win today, and we didn't. So we need to get Palace. You know, if we get four points out of this from Palace, that's a decent return. But Palace are a very good side, especially at the minute as well. They've got Zaha, who's in form right now. They've got pff, some other good players like Townsend, Venano. Milovojevic won't be playing that game next week. But even still, they've got a very, very good side, Crystal Palace. So it will be a tough one. But when Vidra came on, instantly he created a chance for himself. He did a really good running behind. Time he's run perfectly. The only problem is he didn't take his shot. And he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And then he sort of just faffed around trying to get it on his right foot. Where he should have just hit it with his left foot and just had a goal. Because it was the last few minutes of the game. So he should have just had a goal with it, really. But what can you do? What can you do? And um, that was pretty much it, really, from the game. It was absolutely crap. So this, this, this is just my quick summary of the game. We was crap. We shouldn't have won. Brighton should have won 2 or 3 0. Um, I don't know where this sees us now. We've got two points. I think they list us off the bottom of the table. I think, anyway, over Sheffield United. But it's still not good enough, is it? You know, we've got some. We've got, after this Crystal Palace game, we've got a massive run of fixtures that are so hard up until the new year. So I don't see where we're really going to get points out of that unless we obviously beat Villa or something like that. But Villa and Leeds are two great teams right now, playing very, very well each. So I'm not too sure where this leads us right now because I felt we needed to win today. I said it in every game. We needed to win today and we didn't win. So 
I don't know where this where this leaves us. You know, we obviously lost three 0 Chelsea last week. We lost narrowly to Tottenham the week before. So that's going to be it for me today. I'm just going to leave you with that. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Um, it'd be massively appreciated if you could let me know what you thought of the game. You know, who should be starting next week against Crystal Palace. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I would want to say thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.